With the cancellation of the Board of Trade Film Control Order, cinemas throughout the country can now show the newsreel of their choice. Come on British News now takes the opportunity of bringing patrons of this theatre a glimpse behind the scenes. Okay. Stand by recorder. Stand by projection. Turn over. Ready. This is the Gaumont British News, presenting the world to the world. In order to cope with the additional high-speed production required to present GB News in the largest number of cinemas, new laboratories have been built at Denham, ideally situated near London and North Old Airport. GB News equipment is second to none in the newsreel world, and here you see our units leaving the lands. Lighting vans, camera cars, sound units, and a specially designed tower wagon from which elevated shots can be taken. Here's another of our elevated camera platforms, the Beanstalk, capable of taking the cameraman up 20 feet above the ground in less than a minute. The GB camera is always in the best position to secure for you uninterrupted views. This is one of our many electric hand cameras, no winding up like this. Compare with the ordinary hand camera this 40-inch lens, which gets close-up shots from a distance. This is the zoom lens, and here's how it works, zooming down to the players at a Wembley Cup final. This camera car, the very latest design, used by two of our cameramen to film from different angles. Newsreel items by the million are stored in our vaults. Exclusive scoops, sport, comedy, tragedy, and records of great events in history. GB News tipped Mahmoud to win the derby from our photographic evidence of the 2000 Guinness. In this race, Mahmoud, the only grey, was left at the post. Then his jockey couldn't get through, but pulling on the outside came up, only to lose the guineas by a short head. So sure was GB that Mahmoud would win the derby, that we built a 90-foot high camera tower, the first in newsreel filming, and so shot the race from start to finish, as Mahmoud raced to victory, winning thousands of pounds for patrons of our newsreel. Watch the grey coming through to a sensational derby win. When Scott and Black made their record flight to Australia in three days, GB made the first radio film flashed across the world to British screens. You'll remember this charming study we took of the Royal Princes at Princess Elizabeth's wedding. By means of our optical printer, an up-to-date development, we give you these close-ups. years ago, you may remember, our advanced story showed how Airborne would win the St. Ledger three days before the event, and it still won. The most dramatic picture of the war, the sinking of HMS Barham, was filmed by a GB cameraman. Sunk in the Mediterranean, the battleship took over 800 officers and men to their doom. Every edition of GB News is carefully planned. News has to be anticipated. Production has to be organized. Mr. Bishop, have you a unit anywhere near London Airport? Yes, unit number 10. Thanks. GB HQ calling unit 10. Come in, please. Derbyshire pit disaster. Plane is waiting with full instructions. The plane returns to Denham Aerodrome, a hundred yards away from our laboratories, with the films for development. Experts view the negative. And soon, cutting begins. The film is then joined. Commentary is written. And music is specially selected from the largest library of its kind in the country.
and so another dramatic